good morning dear students today i am going to describe the manner in which information can be presented information is also known as data data can be presented in various methods or various by undergo by following various techniques in the present session i am going to focus my attention on presenting the data with the help of a flow chart now let me come to the lesson proper i'll start i'll commence the lesson with a definition what is a flow chart a flow chart shows the breakdown of a task into separate steps they can be used to represent how programs work the very term flow indicates or denotes that information flows in a sequential and organized manner so let me give you an example how to order a burger start order a burger want fries yes order fries want to drink yes order drink pay cash and end so this is the manner in which ye thoda baad mein karenge so from this we can clearly understand the procedure and the process that is associated in ordering a burger from a hotel or a restaurant now let me move on to the next slide flow charts use standard symbols to represent different activities having standard symbols means that the diagrams are universally understood start or end then action or process then input or output then data storage decision and delay while drawing a flow chart every stage should be listed in a logical order it means everything has to be organized there has to be a relationship and connection between the first activity and the next activity before the activity before the final activity comes to an end it should be neat it should be clear and easy to follow and understand there should not be any room for scope or scope for misunderstanding or ambiguity this is the technique or these are the principles that have to be kept in mind while drawing flow charts all flow charts have a start point using this symbol start all flow charts have a end point using this symbol this is the terminator it ends the flow all flow charts have at least one process box the direction of flow is one way only one flow line should enter a decision symbol but two or three lines may leave it depending on the options that can be chosen advantages of flow charts a good way to communicate the details of a task or a processes to others an excellent way of documenting each stage of the process acts as a blueprint in guiding the programmer throughout the development then disadvantages of flow charts flow charts have certain disadvantages drawbacks or demerits some tasks are difficult to represent using a flow chart if and alteration is made then the flow chart may need to be redrawn people need to understand what the symbols mean let me provide you another example on how to prepare a cup of tea by using a flow chart take a cup of water in a kettle place the kettle on a gas stove then heat the gas stove allow the water to boil for 3 minutes after that add a tablespoon of tea powder or tea leaves then allow both of them to boil for 3 minutes add milk and filter to remove the impurities 
and add sugar for taste and serve hot either in a cup or in a glass this is the process or the procedure or the method methodology to be adopted to prepare a cup of tea with the help of a flow chart let me give you another example how to change the sim card in mobile switch off the phone slide off the back cover remove the battery remove the old sim card from its designated or appointed slot place the other sim card replace the battery return the back cover this is the manner to be followed for changing a sim card and i'll give you another example that is how to book a train ticket by standing in the queue at the railway station first go to the railway station where reservation facility is available then take a blank requisition form after that fill in the requisition form with all the necessary details like date of the journey name of the train number of the train the class in which you want to perform the journey the details relating to your gender the re details relating to your age and the details relating to your address residential address your telephone number your signature all the relevant and necessary details have to be incorporated in the form very clearly correctly and flawlessly after that stand in the queue and wait for your turn when your turn comes hand over the filled in requisition form to the clerk on other side of the counter then wait for a minute or two then if you are satisfied with the genuineness correctness and accuracy of the particulars mentioned on the ticket then walk out of the reservation counter this is the methodology or the procedure that one has to follow for taking a train ticket in advance at the railway station where reservation facility is available kindly note the points that are indicated in a systematic manner or a sequential manner a logical order needs to be kept in mind for the commencement of the activity and for the conclusion of the activity let me recap this firstly approach the railway station where reservation facility is available then the second point that is associated in the process is obtain a blank requisition form then the third step that has to be followed is fill in the necessary details like date of the journey name of the train the place where you want to get into the train the place where you want to travel that is the destination the class in which you want to travel the details pertaining to your gender the details pertaining to your age the details pertaining to your residential address the details pertaining to your telephone number and if you have any reservations like lower berth or middle berth then all these details have to be perfectly and properly indicated in the requisition form make sure that all the necessary details are filled in a proper clear and legible manner once you are satisfied with the filling up of the particulars then stand in the queue and wait for your turn show an element of patience when your turn comes hand over the filled in requisition form along with cash to the clerk who is stationed at other side of the counter then wait for a minute or two then opt collect the ticket from the reservation clerk verify 
or check the details that are mentioned therein. If you are clear, if you are sure about the correctness of the details, then walk out of the reservation counter. This is the manner in which you have to book a train ticket in advance for performing a journey to your desired place by standing in the line at a railway reservation counter. Then let me revise the other two works which I taught you a little while ago. That is how to prepare a cup of tea. Firstly, take a cup of water in a kettle, place it on the stove, heat the stove with a matchbox or a lighter, then allow it to boil for three minutes, then add a tablespoon then add a tablespoon of tea powder or tea leaves and allow them to boil for three more minutes. Then add required quantity of milk. After that, filter. Then add sugar for taste. Then serve hot either in a cup or in a glass. This is the procedure or the methodology that one has to follow for preparing a cup of tea. Then another example I am going to revise for your benefit. How to change a SIM card in the mobile. Firstly, switch off the mobile phone. Then slide off the back cover. Remove the battery. Remove the old SIM card from the designated slot. Place the other SIM card or the new SIM card. Replace the battery and return the back cover. Then finally, the new SIM card is inserted in the mobile phone. Let me give you another example because illustration, illustrations make the learning understandable, convincing, and exciting. How to measure the length of a cylinder by using a vernier calipers? Finding the length of a cylinder using vernier calipers. This is an experiment that is conducted in the physics lab of the institutions. Firstly, note the value of one main scale division. Then note the value of vernier scale division. Then thirdly, keep cylinder between two lower jaws. Then find the least count, that is S by N. Then note the main scale reading, MSR. Then note vernier coincidence. Calculate cylinder length by using MSR plus VC into LC. This is the manner or this is the procedure that one has to adopt for finding the length of a cylinder using vernier calipers. So any activity that consists of a series of steps can be demonstrated or can be Explain by using a flow chart. Am I clear to you? Or shall I repeat the definition for your advantage? Okay, let me do that. What is a flow chart? Flowchart is a method of depicting data. Where do we see flowcharts? Flowchart is a word that tells about the flow of information in a sequential and proper manner. A logical approach needs to be followed for depicting information with the help of a flowchart. Flowchart is worth a thousand words. It conveys more efficiently and effectively compared to the words that we use. We use flowcharts at various places 
in labs, in offices, and in giving the instructions and in explaining the procedures, etc. What are the advantages of presenting data or information in the form of a flowchart? The flowchart provides an easy way of communication because any other person besides the programmer can understand that way. The way they, the data is represented. It represents the data flow in a logical and systematic manner. Where did we where do we use flowcharts? Flowcharts are used in a variety of purposes, preparing a recipe, engineering, business, technology, education, and for many other purposes. What happens if the order of the steps in a flowchart is jumbled or affected? Sequential order in a flowchart is very vital, significant, and important. They are to be accurate. It is better to use, it is better to ask the students to set them in sequence when it is jumbled. And for remembering the sequence, it is better to use adverbs or time first, then finally. These will help the students in presenting the information in an organized and logical manner. How do sentences begin in a flowchart? Some, sometimes they begin with firstly, initially, basically like that. Can sentence be long in a flowchart? No, sentences should not be long in a flowchart. They should be short and crisp and to the point. Let me offer you another example how to obtain or how to get admission into a polytechnic. Firstly, watch for the notification that is given in newspapers by the State Board of Technical Education and Training. Then when the notification is issued, it is the duty and responsibility of the applicant or the aspirant who wants to pursue polytechnic course to obtain an application and fill the application with all the necessary and relevant details. Then sub, the filled in application has to be submitted at the designated center for the purpose of registration. Then after that, obtain the hall ticket. Then prepare well for the examination. Plan well, prepare well, and perform well. Then go to the examination center on the stipulated date or appointed date, at least half an hour or one hour before the examination. Then perform well in the examination. Wait for the results. Then you will be sent a merit card indicating the merit that you have secured in the examination concern. Then pay the cash in the institution. And this is the manner to be adopted for gaining entry into a polytechnic. So I think I have given you a good number of examples in order to facilitate proper, better, and perfect understanding of the lesson flowchart. I think you will not encounter any difficulty or problem in understanding the lesson. Thank you for the patient listening exhibition. Thank you.